Then two, boys versus girls. Very different. Physically, girls mature sooner. Girls at age five are bigger boned. You will see at age five the eruption of permanent teeth in girls. Arnold Gazelle of the Gazelle Institute in 1925 said, I know when a child is ready to be taught how to read because the permanent teeth begin to erupt. And he knew that physically, if the teeth were erupting, then the eyesight was probably uh, in good enough condition to, to, to see nearsighted, to see words. Boys have more school problems, K3. Across the nation every year, 75% of all remedial reading problems in K3 are boys. Girls have higher reading and math scores all through K-8. to Girls just have it all over boys academically in the elementary and middle schools. In high school, it kind of turns around. Boys have actual higher math and verbal SAT scores. A lot of reasons for that. That's a seminar in itself. What causes girls to be ahead of boys all through elementary school, what gives them in kindergarten a six-month advantage is that girls have what we call an accelerated fine motor system. Their eyes, their ears, their tongue, and their fingers. So a five-year-old girl can look at a word and see it clearly, but five-year-old boys are more farsighted. You'll see they'll, they'll back off. Five-year-old girls have good phonemic awareness, much better than boys. They hear the difference between the b and the k. Right? The boy says, huh? Five-year-old girls have much better fine motor coordination with their fingers. They hold the pen down low on the point at age five comfortably. But a five-year-old boy, it's high on the pen, kind of like this. And of course, the tongue, speech. 98% of all speech difficulties in the elementary school are boys. At age four, usually, there's a large number of speech. They're all boys for the, for the most part. Why is it, and I'll, I'll wrap this up now, folks. Why is it that girls have this six-month advantage in fine motor? It gets back to the brain cell. So you have the brain cell with the dendrites, and then you have the axon, which goes off to other brain cells. And the dendrites and the brain cell and the axon all get coated with a fatty substance called myelin. Do we remember that from general psychology in college? Myelin. And the process of myelination is the coating of the brain cells with myelin. And in girls, the process of myelination is accelerated. It happens faster. It happens earlier. So girls' brain cells are well-coated, and they communicate that much faster. So their eyes, their ears, their tongue, their fingers are better coordinated.